Okay, so my name is Andrea Jones, and I am in Houston, Texas. And these people in Texas threaten to rape my child. These white men in Texas, these black men in Texas, these Mexican men in Texas, and these women in Texas threaten to rape my child. His name is Melbourne Halo Matter. Okay, that's the first thing that I needed to get off in this video, is that they threatened to rape my baby out here in, in Texas. And I am in Texas now. So, they're trying to say that they have a restraining order. His grandma, Cynthia Overa, threatened to rape my baby boy with racist white men and black men out here in Texas. And I'm in Houston, Texas right now and I had to leave the room where this woman, when I was on the way from Atlanta, uh, they tried to set me up to be killed in Atlanta about this information of them threatening to rape my son, and I am pregnant. So I am pregnant, and they are trying to kill my baby in my body, and they have my son and threaten to rape him. These white men that's driving around in all these fancy cars, these Mexicans, these people in the state of Texas threaten to rape and mutilate and kill my child with Cynthia Overa and Joseph Overa and Austin John Matter because I shot Austin here in the leg in a restaurant where he was attacking me and my little boy and Austin is white and they threatened to rape my child and I was at a room with a woman uh, from New Orleans and they are doing witchcraft threatening to rape my little boy and kill my baby and leave me on the streets screaming pregnant about my baby with the entire country trying to murder me and threatened to rape my child and this is the state where they took my baby and threatened to rape my baby and I have not seen my baby since the shooting and threatened to kill my little boy and molest him. Cynthia Overa did and she stays on Amarillo Street in Magnolia, Texas and she has threatened to molest and rape my child with these racist white people in Texas and with these racist black men in Texas and and with these racist Mexicans in Texas, and with these racist police, and with Austin John Matter, who is her white son. He is a convicted felon, and he has been at Cynthia's address at Armorello Street in Texas. So I went to Atlanta, Georgia. Cynthia got my baby as a result of a shooting. And Austin was in prison out here in Conroe, Texas. And I was raising my baby by Austin while he was in prison and he got out attacking me and I had a gun. The police were contacted and I shot Austin where he was attacking me where I ran from my home for help. So Cynthia took my baby out here in Texas when the police arrested me at the restaurant and there was a witness that he was attacking me and my son. And the Conroe police out here in Texas. They arrested me from the restaurant. They gave Cynthia Overa my 22-month-old son that her son Austin was attacking. And she said that she would rape him and do things to him and as retaliation for me shooting Austin and that they were racist out here in Texas and that because I shot Austin that they would kill my baby in my body in the jail and let me and then said they would be molesting and raping my son and that she and Austin and these racist whites would stick their genitals in my baby's mouth as retaliation for me shooting Austin and kill my baby inside of my body. And said that she knew that she was going to hell for covering the evidence that Austin was abusing me and threatening to rape and molest my son with racist white men, including her husband, Joseph Overa, who stays on Armorello Street with, with Cynthia Overa and where Austin had been staying and being arrested for more violence at Cynthia's home against others in her home in uh, Magnolia, Texas out here, which is close to Conroe, Texas. And so Cynthia Overa threatened to rape my son while I was in the jail and molest him with the Conroe Police Department out here in Texas. And her and Austin sued me for my baby while I was incarcerated for protecting myself after she threatened to molest him with these racist people. 
and then they they let me out of the jail with the baby still alive in my body that they tried to kill inside of me in the jail and they had tried to murder me in the jail for protecting myself and refused to let me into any of the shelters when I got out they had my family setting me up to be murdered when I got out of the jail pregnant for shooting Austin in the leg and then they had it set up for me to be outside like this for men to pick me up and bring me to locations and starve me and force me to have sex with them and try to stop me from telling that she threatened to rape my baby with these people out here in Texas with these white men with all of these white men and these white women and her husband and Austin who was a convicted felon who has since been arrested from her home for assault with a deadly weapon I don't know what's going on over there at Cynthia's home and they have my son at that location and God said that he better be alive so Cynthia uh, and Austin sued me for my baby while I was incarcerated for protecting myself from him in this restaurant. And she had already threatened to molest him. She went so far as to threaten to murder him. She went so far as to threaten to give him herpes and AIDS, saying that she was racist and this was white people's country and Austin was white and they were going to cover up my pregnancy and have me murdered and all of this stuff and rape my baby boy and then try to uh, say bad things about me as a mother and so I got out of the jail on these charges and I was being set up and they set a trial date to let her have my son permanently and not give me my baby and this was the same year that I was released on these charges with this baby still in my body and I had explained in previous videos that they had set me up to have to go with people from my sister's home and different people's home from the jail didn't have my own apartment would not allow me into shelters and were forcing me to go with these men and so God said there was a man named Colin that was out here that was heavily involved that's this was the month that Cynthia had uh, did the trial day when I was released from the jail saying that uh, I was a bad mother and I didn't have a home and this is where my family is involved to try to set me up to be murdered trying to make it seem like they got a right to leave their pregnant sister abused outside on the streets to be murdered by whites in America and black people that want to serve them and Mexicans and anybody who you could think of that'll be willing to try to kill a pregnant black woman and, 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 and cover her pregnancy and hope that she smoke her baby to death in her side of her body while they threaten to be raping her baby over here. That's what they threaten to do to my son. And then because I'm telling on you, you want to try to call me crazy. You want to try to say, oh, she shot a gun. I did shoot a gun about my son. And I got every right to hurt anybody that raped him, molested him, or forced him to get him oral sex in this city because that's the son that I gave birth to and they don't care about me and they racist so I'm gonna calm down so I can tell y'all the part about Colin and Eagle Ferry because I already told y'all about that on previous videos and I got to tell this information as quickly as possible because they got me around somebody in a room where they trying to stop me from being able to tell the information so I have to tell this quickly and they got me in a location where my videos are not loading where I need to hurry up and give this information because the woman is trying to abandon me on the streets tomorrow where my phone might be off and I'll be out here being set up like this in Houston Texas and they threaten to make, rape my baby over there at her house and everybody in this state knows that they threaten to rape my baby and they know I'm going to be out here with no phone pregnant with this baby that they tried to murder still alive from Atlanta where they tried to murder me in Atlanta came out here to see about my baby she's talking about she got a restraining order trying to have me stranded off my last damn dollar to get here for my baby trying to have me outside with no identification trying to kill me pregnant outside and you threaten to rape my baby trying to say you got a restraining order going through Judge Tracy Gilbert and try to say that you don't got to give me my son and that you don't got to show me my baby alive. And then you try to say I'm crazy because Austin threatened to put his dick in my baby's mouth because I shot him. And they know I'm crazy. And they waiting for me to try to come and fight for him so they can kill me and this baby that they've been trying to murder for 36 months watching me smoke because she threatened to rape my child. And they laughing. These white people out here laughing. And the Mexicans already being wicked. So 
December 2019. I got the right to be upset. Ain't no, you ain't a real mother if you wouldn't be upset about them threatening to rape your child because you shot a man that was abusing you. What kind of mother would you be? Oh, because I'm single and I don't got the money and my family don't give a damn about me or my child? You think you gonna take my baby and rape him and then say that oh, I don't got the right to say anything because I'm just a nigga, right? That's what Patty Maginus think. That's what Inger Chandler think. That's what Jim McDougal think. That's what the Conroe police think. That's what Austin think. That's what Joseph think. That's what my sister think. That's what black Americans think. That's what white Americans think. That's what Mexicans think. You think I'm just a nigga. You think I'm just a broke nigga whose son you can take as a slave and threaten to do Egyptian sex magic on my baby because I shot Austin. You are a witch. And you need to return my baby without trying to have me murdered. So I'll go into the details about the man Colin. And Eagle Fairy wrote the month that they told Cynthia she could have my baby. December 2019. And this man said that I could come and live with him. And this, I ended up going with a man named Jakiba. And I will tell y'all that Jakiba and them were pulling out guns on me in the home. And he told me that I could have a room as well. So these people were lying for Cynthia and Joseph and Austin in the state. And these people that threatened to molest my baby here in the state of Texas and people from Hollywood that's involved as well with the child molestation uh, and threatening to molest my son that found out that I shot this young white man in self-defense who I have a child by and who I'm pregnant by and I'm abused by him as well and so Cynthia uh, threatened to molest my baby boy. She threatened to molest my son and they uh, had this man bring me into a location when I was released from the jail saying that he would allow me to rent a room. And he did the same thing that Colin did, not allowing me to rent a room. He did the same thing my family did, that my sister did. He did the same thing that Cat and Cookie did in Montgomery, Texas. Everybody was trying to either keep me from having a stable home about her threatening to molest my baby as retaliation for this shooting in Texas, or to try to set me up to try to harm me in a location. And so I went on ahead and decided that I was going to rent this room from this man and he lied about it and they were pulling guns on me and trying to make it seem like it was a bad environment and trying to stop me from getting to work and then set a custody hearing. I went to the custody hearing and I presented all the evidence that Austin was abusing me but they had everybody in the state of Texas trying to set me up outside while I was trying to get my baby and they threatened to molest him and that was their only MO, that was their only thing that they could say was that Andrea don't have a home and they all set me up outside. Every single last one of these citizens in this state set me up outside after I was released from that jail. My family, everybody set me up outside so she could say that she could rape my baby and get away with molesting my baby. And they got men walking up on me right now. And they don't need to have men walking up on me because they trying to stop me from telling this information. And they were trying to stop me. They think they was going to have people murder me in Atlanta, Georgia and then think that I was going to get killed pregnant in Atlanta and not be able to come back here for my son and you could say oh she turned up she angry but you know what so they they gave my son away at uh, 30, 2123 Eagle Ferry Road. I left that location and I went to Cairo and all the people who knew me in Cairo were saying that I could not stay at their home so that I could get my son from Cynthia. And they knew about the shooting and everybody in Cairo, Texas was aware that they threatened to molest my son and covering up information about them trying to murder me pregnant in the jail and threatening to rape my little boy. And so then everybody in Cairo, Texas where I live including the women's shelters were saying they wouldn't help me and the charges were dropped and then this woman just kept my child and then I fled to Houston trying to get into shelters there and they did the same thing knowing about the shooting and saying they would not allow me in trying to set me up pregnant to be murdered with hospitals denying me medical care trying to force me to go with men that were trying to starve me and cover up that I was pregnant trying to force me to have sex with them and then with them doing this for Cynthia and Austin threatening to molest him with Joseph 
and these racist whites here. And so I ended up fleeing from these people and going to Atlanta, Georgia. And when I went to Atlanta, Georgia, I went to the shelter and they set me up once I posted my baby's heartbeat from Texas that I was pregnant and they did this to me in the jail in Texas and that I was pregnant despite the doctors in Texas lying and saying that I was not pregnant. And then she kicked me out of the shelter after a few days and then had me out there on Atl in Atlanta, Georgia with the whole damn mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms trying to allow the whole city of Atlanta to try to set me up to be murdered despite me telling that these people threatened to rape my child and molest him. They said they're child molesters. Regardless, God said that I had the right to come out here to see if my baby was alive with them running me from Texas. He was attacking me in my home. He was attacking me in my home in Texas. And they thought, oh, we're just going to leave her outside pregnant and kill her. So that's what they're trying to do. And so um, I, left, uh, I, w I left the Salvation Army because they forced me to leave the shelter due to my case and that there's people outside that want to hurt her. So we don't want to help her. We don't want to let her come here. We want to set her up to get hurt outside in Atlanta. And that's what they tried to do. And God told me, you cannot let them set you up pregnant out here in Atlanta and threaten to molest your baby. She's a child molester. You gave you got to go to her house to see about your baby. So I came out here and I posted the video to people on my channel that I was here and that I was here to go to her home and see if my baby was alive. If my son, he is four years old, if he is alive. And then they sent a message under the video on my channel. So they're watching my channel. They're watching me telling on them. They're watching people abuse me all over the city. They're watching my family abandon me. They're watching me scream about my son and them threatening to rape my baby. And they're trying to cause violence. They're trying to cause me to have to use violence to come and get him. They're causing me, and this is what they want to do, and they cause me to have to use violence, running me from my home, Austin attacking me out here in Cairo, Texas, and attacking my little boy, causing me to have to use violence, and I shot him in the leg. And then they took my baby and threatened to molest him, and threatened to have all the blacks in Texas covering up that Cynthia, his grandma, his white grandma, and they, Joseph Overa, her husband, is Mexican and grandfather threatened to molest him with Austin and because of the shooting. They got all the blacks in Texas uh, helping them to cover it up. They got my family helping to cover it up from Chicago to Atlanta to Texas. And they have everybody in the state of Texas trying to cover it up and everybody in the state of Georgia and everybody that family that I have that's in Arkansas and Little Rock, Arkansas as well. And so God was like, you he know Cynthia a Satanist that have my child. God know that Austin have given himself over to racism and that they threaten to molest my son. And he know that I'm in this all by myself. He know how racist these people are. And the best advice that God could give me from Atlanta with them trying to set me up to be murdered, pregnant with this information, trying to talk about how long I've been carrying my baby. You got black women who are celebrities who are making fun of my stomach because the baby is still in my stomach, knowing that they threaten to rape my baby. You have black men that are celebrities that are making fun of my stomach knowing that I'm still pregnant and that the baby is alive and they are on social media posting with pictures of their belly mocking my stomach showing how they feel about racist white people taking somebody baby and threatening to molest somebody baby and then trying to leave them with a dead baby in their body and they making fun of me and my children instead of standing up for us in this country and all the Mexicans are sold out. They all sitting around acting like they white, looking at my belly, laughing at me, trying to treat me like, and they trying to make me use force uh, to get my son. And then they're trying to make me use force and they have everybody jump me pregnant in the country, knowing why I'm using force, because you threatened to rape my son and you're going through courts after you threatened to rape my baby, saying you're in a coven doing witchcraft and you threatened to rape my child and you're trying to go through a court and say that I have a restraining order against her. So God said the best thing you can do with how you're being set up, while how they had your own family knowing that they were trying to set you up pregnant in Atlanta like that out of that shelter. And then they tried to set you up on that bench like that. He said, and then threatened to be out here raping your baby while people trying to set you pregnant up like that. He said, you need to go out there to Texas. And so now I'm out here. And it's like, okay, you scared now because I'm actually out here. Cynthia Overa thought she was going to threaten to 
rape my baby with these racist people and that they made me flee from here and uh, threatening my life and my children's life and then make me go to Atlanta with Atlanta trying to humiliate me pregnant and abused after they threatened to rape my baby out here and think that they was going to take care of me and have the Atlanta police set me up to be murdered in Atlanta outside in sex traffic and now God told me get your ass get your butt back there to Texas where they threatened to rape your baby Atlanta don't care about you Atlanta don't care about your babies Atlanta don't care about you get out there I'm out here and I said what God told me to do that I was going to do and that was go to the woman house peacefully and ask for her to show me my son that he was all right and that the woman would try to say something about the court. That's what God said. So now I did what God told me to do. I was obedient because she threatened to molest him and she said she's going to hell with these people in Texas that she threatened to rape him with. So at the end of the day, that's between you and God. But God told me to come out here because you're a child molester and you're a rapist. And the only people that she got to help her cover up what it is that she's trying to do is the people that's going to hell with her and that's all them judges and people that she going through to say she could keep my baby any family that she is using to try to slander me or make me look bad on the streets is going to hell right with her and God knows this so I was obedient and I came out here and then they hit me up uh, on YouTube threatening me saying we're taking you back to jail where they tried to murder me with this baby in me and they had the every intention of continuing to try to murder us if I got out and went to the hospital here and you lied about me being pregnant and I went to Atlanta and you lied about me being pregnant and I went to Arkansas and you had my auntie Barbara Thomas try to set me up to be murdered by white people outside of her house for being pregnant with a baby that they tried to murder me with out here in this damn jail in Montgomery County, Texas in Conroe, Texas and I'm out here pregnant with the same baby because God told me to come out here and God said that that Atlanta was wrong for what they tried to do. They tried to murder my baby that I'm pregnant with in my body so I could come back out here and be killed. And so that Austin and his family could lie and say that I was never pregnant and that he was never abusing me, pregnant in my house and have my family go through with setting me up to be murdered. And ain't nobody gonna cover up or threatening to molest my baby. And I am out here in Texas, and this is how they're going to try to have me outside on the streets. And they got this woman trying to stop me from telling this information in that motel room. And she's from New Orleans, where they do this kind of witchcraft from that Cynthia is doing. And she's trying to lure me to New Orleans. And God said, go to Texas, where they threaten to molest him. And you can go to her house. And they trying to set me up to be murdered, trying to say they got a restraining order against me. She's going going through racist people.